You are my precious friend. You know that? Hmm? The one thing that many of God's creatures have in common is the desire for physical closeness, often expressed as affection. The experience I have shared with all my animal friends is touching. I touch their lives, and when appropriate, touch them physically. They return the gesture as they touch me and my heart. Touching animals is not the quest, but the result. Do animals love? Yes, if you consider that trust, comfort, fulfillment, and pleasure are some of the facets of love. Canada geese express comfort by honking softly as we interact. They like to get very close. Not every goose likes to be touched, but many do, like my friend Ringgold. I love feeling the warmth of their bodies and hot breath on a cold day. Ringgold adopted me and flew to me whenever I was in sight. Good to see you. We had truly a touching relationship. Wild mallard ducks also like to be close once they reach a comfort level with me. Feeling the softness of their feathers and hearing their happy quacks makes me smile every time. One particular large mallard Pekin mix named Pepper liked to stretch his neck across me for an affectionate nuzzle. These are gentle and beautiful creatures. I've worked with and hand-fed dozens of wild squirrels during the past five years. And yet Darla is the only one who has recently allowed me to touch her. Of course, she has been touching me for years. Perhaps I could have attempted to pet her long ago, but I'm careful not to betray an animal's trust. Occasionally, I bump or nearly sit on an animal, but they always understand it's an accident. So, I add forgiveness as another facet of love. Squirrel Whisper is a love story about my bond with a charming Eastern Gray Squirrel named Betty. Unconditional love can have a negative facet, control. Yes, even a squirrel can be controlling. That particular aspect of Betty was reminiscent of some of my past human relationships. However, with some introspection, I love you, and a little squirrel psychology, I love you so much, we worked it out. The open question for a squirrel whisperer is who is whispering to whom?